Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Betaville Zoo. This is our full beta series here in Planet Zoo and today we're building a walkthrough Lima exhibit. I've been looking forward to this one for ages to be honest with you. I finally got around to it and uh, I think it's turned out really, really quite well actually. Uh, if you're new here, by the way, make sure you uh, click on subscribe if you want to see lots more Planet Zoo content. We're going to be covering it all the way through the beta up until release and then obviously the full game as well. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do this one for a while. My first walkthrough exhibit. Lima's seems to be the obvious choice. I've done a few different Lima walkthrough exhibits uh, around the world now and I'm always a huge fan of them. Um, they're one of the animals that actually are quite happy to have uh, people wandering around and it doesn't seem to bother them too much and, uh, and you know, it's a really great animal to sort of get up close and personal with. Uh, so yeah, this what I'm doing here is building a path just around in a circle. I'm using um, a, a bit of a weird method where you try and place down a queue in between two paths and it gives you a thinner path, it gives you a two meter path. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to work in this game, it's something we used to do in Planet Coaster. Uh, it does seem to work, although the guests are getting a little bit trapped on the way in but I, I it seems like they're so far away it doesn't seem to be that that's the problem once they're in there they have a little wonder around and they see the lemurs and they wander off again that's pretty good uh, but yeah it does seem to be a bit of an issue with getting people in i think it's more to do with the uh, guest habitat doors uh, i'm not sure i'm gonna keep wait, playing around with it but you know what I, i'm not too beta is going to be beta you know so i'm not too worried about it um but we have this uh, area here it goes around in a circle it gives us an open area in the middle and then i'm going to really quite heavily foliage the outside of it uh, the idea being that the the middle area is maybe where they come to eat where they come to kind of uh, hang out and pick bugs off each other and all that kind of stuff but then the outside there's lots of climbing spaces lots of uh, dense forests that they can go and hide away to if they want to be away from the guests for a little while and stuff like that uh, here i'm building a custom fence that very top piece of that fence there is one of the climbable uh, poles so i'm not 100% sure how this works. There is a set of poles in the game, poles and, and uh, like platforms that have the tag climbable. So I've used those to build the structures and stuff. Uh, but I noticed a few times the lemurs will quite happily climb on other stuff as well. Um, for instance, when they climb along these very this top bar, I wanted it all to be climbable, thinking they would run along it, you know, and they do, and it looks amazing. I'll, we'll do some glamour shots later on. Um, but when they're done, they climb down the ropes and they literally like use it like a little ladder. It's really quite impressive the uh, the animations. Don't get me wrong sometimes the animations are pretty janky like they turn all the way around and uh, it is a little bit funky but it's an incredible system considering it's all happening procedurally basically anything we build they will climb on or have a bloody good go at climbing on it you know it's a really quite impressive system so there's always going to be those few little edge cases where they just go Whip! and spin around <laughs> or whatever uh, but I personally that's all part of the charm of the system to be honest um, but for the most part they run across the top of these and they look fantastic so I wanted to kind of get to get this area boxed in so that guests weren't obviously able to wander off. Um, and then with the way we kind of help lemurs get across the space is each of the areas has got um, some sort of pole or, or crossing piece. Uh, down into uh, into the other areas um, but actually they're quite happy to walk along the path uh, to start off with uh, whenever a lemur touches the path they get instantly boxed up and thrown to the exhibit and I was really at the, the exhibit entrance and I was really wondering what was going on um, but after a few minutes it didn't seem to happen anymore I don't know whether it's the game has to kind of figure out the the space you know I, I'm not too sure really but yeah after a couple of minutes they were they were fine and dandy and they uh, they just have really a uh, lot of fun partnering around uh, so here we're building like a bit of a keeper hut. Um, purpose of this, I'm not 100% sure why really. If you do some other walkthrough exhibits, you're able to buy food. Um, I've done a kangaroo exhibit where you were able to buy food for kangaroos. There's obviously the lorikeets is a very famous one. You can buy those little cups of nectar that the lorikeets keep, you know, and this is where something like that would be. I don't believe I've seen a, a lemur feeding one. I, I imagine they'd probably can get a bit nasty to be honest with food i imagine they probably would would take a finger off <laughs> uh, or at least do a bit of damage so i don't think you can actually feed lemurs so this is maybe just a bit more like a spot for information i guess you know uh, somebody's there telling you about stuff somebody's maybe checking bags for food that kind of thing making sure you've not got uh, you know a mars bar in your pocket or whatever maybe it's that kind of thing i just kind of wanted a bit of a entrance area as much as the the uh, the in-game system of the uh, the habitats is pretty impressive i um I, I want it needs to be a little bit more developed uh, from a visual point of view for me and that's what i'm kind of doing here so um the, you see there you've got gates coming in all of these gates really would be like an airlock style gate so there's actually two entrances you come into one 
the door is closed, you go through to the other one, and it's just that extra sort of uh, bit of safety so that the lemurs can't uh, can't get out. And it happens with most animals, to be honest. It, it, most keeper entrances work that way as well. Um, but the, if you try and do a double barrier, it messes up the game a little bit, and the, and the keepers don't really know where to go, which is kind of fair enough. I get it. At the end of the day, these games... I have to try and do a little bit of realism, but at the end of the day, they are still video games, and at some point, they have to uh, they have to sort of focus on gameplay over just being incredibly realistic. Because ninety nine percent of people who play these games would, would get incredibly frustrated if they had to build every single door as a double door for safety reasons, you know. Um, so instead, what I decided to do was to fake it, fake it till you make it. Uh, so here, you can see me building a fake door that then um, that then sits pretty much just in front of the other door there and gives us the idea of an airlock. Now, guests just walk through this. They just clip through it. Um, that's kind of something you have to decide for yourself whether or not it's acceptable. I don't really have too much of a problem with guests clipping through doors. Um, it's just, But it's it's complete personal preference, you know? You could do it maybe and, have, and make it look like they're open, so it's meant to be an airlock, but... It's meant to be, you know, like a double gated system, but it isn't or something, I suppose. You could do something like that. Um, but personally, I don't have a massive problem with guests clipping through the doors there. I'd rather... 99% uh, of the time, I'm playing the game paused anyway. So <laughs> um, I kind of like the... I prefer to have the look of a realistic exhibit. But, you know, again, that's that's personal preference for me. I, I'm kind of okay with it. Um, so as far as the barrier is concerned, I had a look, having a look at a few of these, um, a lot of them just use chain link fence and the lemurs don't seem to climb it. Um, I can't find much information about it as to whether or not they struggle uh, climbing the chain link or if they just kind of know what's good for them you know you get a lot of animals that are just quite happy to stay where the food is and i wonder if it's probably probably is actually more something like that um here obviously that doesn't seem to apply so you do have to make sure they're um they're kept in so i've used the wooden barrier with the um, there's actually an option to have like a, a climb anti-climbing thing on there whether that's like a, an electric electrified bar or like a rolling bar i'm not too sure but it adds like this bar along the top of it um but even still i just found I, the problem is with using that wood wall for something like this is it just it makes a big wooden box and i don't like big wooden boxes and modern zoos don't like big wooden boxes so to try and get a little bit away from that i've actually added more fencing which is kind of weird i know um but i've added a chain link fence around the end of it just it's purely for show it doesn't even make a whole exhibit and it's just there to kind of um to just show that the the, the guest that the stout the zoo excuse me is trying to keep the animals in i guess i don't know why i just felt like it looked right uh here i'm building a, a sort of platform for sleeping uh, and that's just on the side of a, a raised platform there so if it's like the middle of the day where it gets quite hot or uh, or if the you know the animals are just taking naps uh, the guests can sort of go up there and still get quite a nice interaction with the animals i haven't actually seen any guests wander up there yet to be honest with you but i just like the idea that it's there if, if they want it so here i'm actually playing around with these climbing uh, shapes then and, and they're really quite fun there's uh Loads of different options. There's these thin poles. I'm not really 100% sure whether they actually use them. I haven't seen one use one yet, actually. Um, so I may go back in and change it around a little bit. But here you can see I'm doing the idea of having uh, like a, always like a bridge of some description across the path. So if they want to, they don't have to go down into the path and, and, use, and get near people. They can get up and out the way and across uh, different ways like that. So just kind of coming up with different combinations of how these link together and how they... Uh, sort of stick together and trying to find ways up. Like I say, I haven't actually used them. They use the edge of the path a lot. That's a, I just put a blueprint down there. It was it was perfect. I didn't need to change it. You know, don't why uh, have a dog and bark yourself. Uh, a lot. They use the edges of the path a lot. They run around those all the time and they run up some of the trees and some of the poles. But I haven't seen them use much of the climbing to get around yet. Um, but to be honest with you, this is the first time I've really sort of paid attention to the animals once I placed them in, as in actually sort of sat and watched them. A few people have said they'd like to see more of the actual animals and we are going to start adding some uh, video at the end of the animals actually enjoying the in the exhibit but yeah i've got a bit of a habit of finishing it and going right next let's go uh, but here because of the amount of interaction i really wanted to come in and just sort of say you know what are they doing here let's have a little look 
Uh, this, then, is something we had a, started messing around with at the very end of uh, the live stream. If you don't know, I stream every Monday uh, around about 1 p.m. Uh, Central, uh, sorry, 1 p.m. Eastern time, uh, which is around 6 p.m. in the UK, I think, if, that, if you're over there. Uh, other times you can obviously check. Um, the time differs very slightly because it's if Xander's at home, it's when he has a nap, and he usually naps around about 1 o'clock. But if uh, Xander's uh, with his mum, then um, uh, it's, it's 1 o'clock, yeah. So it's always around 1-ish. Um, but yeah, it's a live stream, and we did uh, just some filling in the gaps, really, to be honest with you. We didn't do that much at all, to be honest, in the live stream. We usually end up chatting and, and, and just being a bit silly. <laughs> um, but we filled in some of the gaps, and then one of the things was we came up with the idea of covering up those donation boxes. Because, again, from a gameplay point of view, they're exactly what you want. They're bright, they spin around, you can click them and see them and see how much money. Um, but from a realistic point of view, you do kind of see that kind of thing eventually, but at some point you kind of want some smaller, cheaper options as well. You don't want this big thing spinning around all day long. Uh, those vines are, 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 are marked as African, but when you place them down, it's Central American, and the, and the lemurs hate them. They hate them! So I've took them down again. Um, yeah. So here we go. The good thing about the lemurs is they're quite happy to have really quite heavy foliage. I think their foliage is something like 53% or something like that, which is you can do a lot with that. You can really get it really nice and, and busy. So you'll see here, we again, we've gone for the idea of the outside being really quite heavy in the foliage. And then that inside being more of a open area that they can come and sit and eat and things like that. Uh, the the staff actually put the food down just like on the floor as you go in. There, there are climbing platforms that are set for food, uh, like arboreal uh, feeders they call them or something, um, feeding platform or something like that. I, 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 they either don't work or I'm using them wrong because I placed a few of them down quite low to the ground. I even placed a couple on the ground, and they don't seem to use them at all. Uh, luckily, if the feed if the keepers can't find where to feed them they just dump it on the floor so they are getting fed uh, the whole food enrichment thing is still an issue uh, if you place down food enrichment they don't get fed so uh, we haven't got any food enrichment but we do get some toys down a cardboard box and a uh, beach ball here here's the platform so you can see it here i forgot that i got the footage of it so i'm trying to place them in just like a foot or two off the ground thinking the the keeper would still be able to manage them because surely that's how they work they're you know they're, if, if they're not made for arboreal animals why not just use the regular trays you know they must be ra made to be raised up a little bit or at least be accessible from ramps and things so yeah either i'm using them wrong or they're, they're funky if you've had better success with them please let me know in the comments because i uh sure as i haven't so he's making up the uh, the exhibit here you see there look one of the lemurs has been boxed up it happens for a couple of minutes and then goes away i think it might just be the game going oh this is a walkthrough exhibit okay that's cool and lemurs are fine um you can see one so here that's where you put the food down so i thought oh maybe i'll try and move one of these over to it then and that doesn't work either they still don't go anywhere near it uh so yeah answers on a postcard about that one thank you uh there we go see i'm watching here to see that lemur walked she was a pickpocket by the way that woman <laughs> oh here he jumped out because for some reason the, the barriers went away from there look the, the climbing barrier went away so put it back in and oh that's interesting the frame rate must have just been linked up he doesn't move like that it, it's just because the speed of it uh, the frame rate made it look weird but no he runs around look he's, oh, he's having so much fun look uh, i'll show you some nicer shots in a minute that i've taken um but yeah he has a good he has a good run around and we get some toys down there we go a cardboard box and a ball uh, right we'll jump into a little bit of live just to have a better look at it and also show you the entrance i did a i've done a sign for the entrance as well that i did off time lapse here i'm just buying a few i think i pick up about four or five of them uh, to place them in there's a few cheap ones and there's a few cheap leaf ones as well so uh, we go that way and, uh, and put them in let's go and have a look at the finished article oh, we're going through a bit of a heat wave looks things although i guess it's super hot but here we go here's land of the lemurs obvious name is obvious but it looks good doesn't it we've got a couple of lemur uh, pictures we can use there we can put down a little bit of water which i've just realized the splash is too high let's see if we can fix that i don't know why i'm talking like this there we go that's where that needs to be. Good stuff. Uh, that's one of the ones where you sometimes you build looking down and don't actually look at it from ground level until after you're done. It's very important to look from ground level, though. Make sure you're doing it. Um, so it would be nice if we could move this fence all the way around, but it just gives us an idea of what I wanted it to look like, you know. Uh, so we're coming in. For some reason, look, this is the popular spot. It's not the bin. I put the bin to help, actually. The bin helps a little. People get trapped around this little loop here, and it does look like it's a door thing. Um, it does look like it's a door thing that's solidly open door because here this is fine nobody comes in here So we've got a little hut needs a bit of decorating I think actually in there and um, 
But there we go, we've got a do not feed the hippos sign, and push, we'll smash through that door. And here we go, let's get rid of the thingy here. So here's one, look, he's having a little wonder. Just under them people's feet, and you'll see him climb up. See, that is not a climbable post, you see, that's just the regular post. Uh, but he's having a good go at climbing up there. Off he goes, wee. He's away, there we go. Who else we've got one in the middle over there, look. So we can come up here, then we've got our info boxes that we need to do some research on. And another donation thing. I was thinking people would come and see them chilling out up here, you see, but neither the lemurs nor people come up here, actually. So <laughs> it's a bit of a quiet spot. Oh, somebody's having a kick around with a ball, I think. Let's come around here. He, he's very happy. I just haven't seen one, like, up here yet, you know. They just... They go a little funny sometimes, look. He's doing a bit of a Michael Jackson thing going on there. Look at that. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, everyone's watching over here. Oh, there he is, look. And there's another one up the back there as well. So, yeah, I haven't actually seen them use the larger climbing structures yet, unfortunately. Um, they're just sort of pottering around the back. And like I say, they do use these ones around the paths. But there we go. I'm really quite happy with how this exhibit has turned out. I think it's one of the better ones I've uh, I've built so far. And like I say, it's nice to see the interactivity with the animals. It's cleared out of this now, look. It's cleared out of it now, and but they're still getting a little funky. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of an issue there. But, you know, beta's going to beta. Overall, I'm really happy with how Land of the Lemurs has turned out. Here you go, a couple of, uh, sort of glamour shots of the animals having a little potter about on the uh, on the climbing frames and in, on the floor as well. They look really good. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow, be good.